You guys, are you trying to figure out how to edit your carousel in BigCommerce? In this video, I'm going to show you guys several ways to do that. Uh, before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer, a store owner, and I run an e-commerce. I run the e-commerce growth community for Facebook or for store owners just like you and me. Sorry, I can't talk today, but each week I post more e-commerce videos. So if you find this one helpful, subscribe and hit the bell and you can see more. Let me share my screen and I'm going to show you guys a couple different ways to edit your slideshow or carousel or whatever you want to call it on big commerce. Now I'm running the cornerstone theme. This is the default uh, carousel that's built in to it. Now I do want to give you guys a caveat and say before I show you how to do this, why? Why, why have a carousel in the first place? You should know as, or you should, you should, you should become knowing of the fact that ample studies have proven that having a slideshow above the fold on your homepage tends to reduce your conversion rate. And so if making sales is important to you, maybe you should ask yourself, do I really need a slider? And if you have a great reason to perfect and if you don't you know maybe just have a static image it's what i like on my sites um it makes it makes your home page load faster because there's just less images to load um, there's less moving parts so less things to get people distracted on but putting that aside in this video i'm going to show you guys how to do it and there are several ways to do it now before we get started i do want to create a couple different slides i've already created some this is Canva. If you guys haven't used Canva as a business owner, check out canva.com. This is a free graphic editing tool. There is a paid version that's only a couple bucks a month and it gives you even more features. And, you know, I created these slides uh, with Canva. The reason I wanted to show you this is that there's really, you know, two different, um, you know, thoughts behind how you create a slide. The big question is to put text on the image or to put no text on the image and then put text in with HTML afterwards. So I've set up a slide with both and I've created a couple other slides with text on the images. I tend to lean towards putting um, images right on my slides or right on my heroes because I want it to be highly designed. I want to use nicer fonts that I might not want to load on the whole page. And I want to really control exactly where this shows up. And you kind of lose control when you're using an HTML slider or, uh, you know, you're going to put a lot of effort in there to get it exactly how you want it. So I'm going to just export these real quick so that we have some slides to work with. This takes a second. You can see it. It's crunching. Oh, and Canva has like tons of images built in too. So all those images that you just saw me make these slides out of, we're all um, free under Canva's uh, photo license with Shutterstock or somebody like that. So I didn't have to buy any of these images and I didn't have to steal them, which is even better because don't steal images, you're going to get caught. All right, so I have my slides now. They're over here on my other window. Just show you guys those. And um, let's go back into BigCommerce. So again, this is how it looks right now. This is the default slider. They have these terrible, terrible images in here um, when you first get your BigCommerce store, at least on Cornerstone. So let me show you, first of all, where to go to edit the settings of this. So if you click into, sorry, I clicked fast there. Let me go back. If you click into storefront, well, thing, storefront, my themes, and then customize here on the current theme. This takes you into the page builder or the customizer. And if you click down here to theme styles, you'll see some settings for your theme. And on the home page, uh, button, flyout, whatever you want to call this, nav item. Uh, if you click that, there are some settings that come up, including show carousel, which is my favorite because you can turn it off. <laughs> Let me turn it back on. But then there's also 
show carousel arrows. So there was some left, right arrows here. So this turns them on or turns them off. There's this carousel play pause button, which I think is um, fairly hideous. It's this little pause button down here. So I turn that off. And you can also say allow image to stretch on large screens. So if you want to pixelate your image and make it side, uh, side uh, edge to edge, you can do that. I don't recommend that. Uh, and then there's all these color settings that you can use for the various colors here. So this is where you edit all these settings. All right. So now that we've done that, we're going to click save to save the couple of changes that we made. And we're going to click the BigCommerce logo to get back out of the customizer. And now we're under the storefront bucket right now in the menu. And you'll see just a couple items down, there's a menu item here for homepage carousel. So this is where you edit the... Uh, this is where you edit the actual slideshow. I don't know why it's giving me this weird error up top. Uh, this is where you edit the actual slideshow. Now, with the Big Commerce built-in carousel, the actual quote-unquote homepage carousel feature, you can have up to five slides. You cannot have six, period. You have to have up to five. And you can see currently I have a slide one and a slide two. If I wanted to... Um, if I wanted to delete one, I could just click that, and now I only have one slide. Now, with this, if I click Save, and if I go back to the front end, you'll see that my arrows are gone, even though I have arrows turned on. And that's because there's only one slide, so there's nothing to slide to or from. So if you only have one slide loaded in here, then uh, you know it's effectively a static image hero instead of a slider. Now, I would put a static image in in a different way than this because I don't even want to load all the slider JavaScript and whatnot that's that's powering this. So, you know, I don't, I leave this turned off automatically and I use a different method, which I'm going to show you guys here in a minute. But let's say we want to edit, let's say we want to use this, right? What we can do is drag one of... Uh, one of those images that I'm going to, I'm going to click on slide two. I'm going to drag this image in and it's going to take a second to load it. Hopefully it loads it. There it goes. And we can come in here and put a heading and then we can put some text and then we can put button text for click this. And then we can put a link. We're just going to point it to slash categories. And we can also control how fast this thing slides. So maybe you want it to slide in four seconds or whatever. So let's click save. So now I have two slides. I have this ugly one and I have the new sexy one. I can change the order by dragging these left and right. Click save again. And let's go to the front end and see how it looks. So if I click refresh, there it is. It loads my image. It puts this overlay on top of it and I don't love it. I don't love it because it's clearly obscuring my image. You know, the one that I showed you where I placed the image nicely on it. This is why I tend to be in the camp where we put text on the, you know, on the image so we can totally control it and make it look nice. Because what's the point of having a slider that doesn't look nice and doesn't convey your message? It's just going to annoy people. Now, the, you know, the SEO people are always going to say that, Having text on here with HTML is better. And yeah, technically, you will have one more word on your page. And uh, that's great, but I don't think it's the end of the world. I think having that better user experience in this case is definitely better than having something that looks like this. Um, now, that being said, you can edit how and where this shows up you can have a developer you know change this to not be site wide and maybe position it in the bottom left and then this thing will always be positioned in the bottom left you can also make this less opaque you can change the colors you can customize this all day long so you can improve on this and you know if you can you know if you can use consistent positioning like i have in these example slides where it's always positioned in the same spot in the bottom left then, you know, maybe the built-in slider is, is fine.
And, you know, I've built e-commerce stores on big commerce for 11 years now. And for many of those years, people really got by and we, you know, we made the best of this and we could turn this into something really cool. But you're probably going to need a developer to make it into something cool. And it's a little bit blah right out the gate. So option one here is to put in a slide with no text and use the built in um, text functionality that turns it into HTML on top of the image. So option number two is let's take those out and let's put the images in that I edited the text onto the images. I'm going to load all three of them. I'm going to click into slide three, load the other one just like that. Click save. Come back to my front end, click refresh. Man, look how much better this looks. Look at how much better this looks. So much better. Now, I probably should have gone a little bit wider on this. I don't really like edge to edge, but I think I went a little bit too narrow. So I could, you know, come back to my uh, Canva and maybe make them 1800 pixels or something. But um, yeah, so this doesn't look too bad. You know, I still don't love it because it's a slider and I don't, I'm not a fan of sliders. You're probably picking that up by now, but that's how you do it. This is how you make it look good using the built in slider, but there is other ways. So let me show you another way. Another way is to go into storefront, my themes, customize, and turn that one off by going back to home page and unchecking home page carousel home show carousel all right so it's gone now so option number two instead of putting in a uh, instead of putting in a carousel use a uh, use a static image you know Let's put this in just like that and say, yep, yeah, we'll just leave it just like that. And look how good that looks. No carousel needed, you guys. Uh, you just have to pick one item and go with it. <clears throat> All right. So I know that's kind of a little bit of a trick answer because you guys are here to learn about carousels, but there is a built-in carousel that Big Commerce gives you right like this. Uh, this these are widgets if you're unfamiliar with this this is widgets and anywhere there is a field here that's hoverable like this global region or these blue regions you can drag one of these widgets into it and uh, one of those widgets is a carousel so we can drag this in here actually I'm going to drag it in to this full width one right here and you can see it also has some of this stuff right and so you can uh, let's see here. What can we do? We can click on the background thing and we can change to a different image. So we can say, let's change to this. Oh, it doesn't like that one. I think because I uploaded it already. So I'm going to upload a different one. All right. It likes that one. And so let's see here. Can we get rid of this stuff? So if we uncheck the eyeball on all these items, then it gets rid of that overlay, which is really nice. And I think we need to switch to fit to box maybe. Yeah. So that gives that that unstretches our image and makes it not cut off at the top and the bottom. All right. Now there's a couple different slides here. So if I click on preview, then it'll show you what it's actually going to look like. And I can slide through them. And you can see that I have this slide here, which is not uh, not matching. So I'm going to just delete that one. And then I'm going to come back here to this first slide and say duplicate. So now I have two slides that are the same. And I'm going to click on the little uh, background edit item here for the next one. I'm going to upload another slide just like that so now i have two slides if i click preview then there you go now what's cool about this one is there's a little bit better control over what's here which is really nice if you do want some of these elements that are here you can easily control 
the um, like the theme, uh, the, the the title family, the weight, the font size. I guess you can't control the oh you can control the text color, which is right here. So this kind of gives you a little bit more control over the older built-in homepage carousel, which is really nice. Um, you know, but it is still a carousel technically, and it's just kind of a normal carousel. So this is another way. And yet another way would be to use a, a custom widget. So, you know, we've put out a, an app for big commerce. Let me show it to you. We'll come back to this. Where if you load this from the app store, you can find this in apps and go to big commerce apps and just do a search for Epic. When you click into this, this is what it looks like once you load the app into your site and it'll come here to this configuration panel and it gives you all these additional widgets that you can put into your store and these get pushed into your customizer and then you can use them. Um, the one that we're going to look at today is called advanced slider, just like that. So we're going to go back to the customizer where our uh, new widgets are. I'm going to show you this one because this one's oh, sorry. My head's kind of coming out of my bubble. Let me get back in my bubble. All right. If I scroll down here and find advanced slider, here it is. Then I can drag that into one of these and I can upload an image. Uh, let's see here. This one actually has a couple images already in it by default. Let me just save this and refresh. <laughs> Oops. All right. So this is kind of a nicer slider than what's built in. And we have a couple more sliders that we're going to put out to give you guys a couple different ways of doing this. But you can see in this slider, we're actually showing you know, kind of like one in a piece, which is kind of a fun aesthetic. And we're showing some titles up here. So if I click into this, it has three tabs or three slides in here automatically. And you can go and edit the title, uh, the image title. You can edit this. Oh, this is the alt text, right? The image alt text. And this is the title one. This is the content. Just like that. Uh, this is the top label. So this is the thing that shows up up here. I'm going to call this slide one. This is the button text over here that says learn more. I'm going to change this to shop. And so you can edit all these elements. And the nice thing is that we're positioning this content to be not in the focal point of the image. So it's not distracting from the image, but it is super available. Uh, you can come up here to the three dots and go to settings and here we can choose a background layer which is useful if you're using this on a dark theme so that you can darken these up doesn't make as much sense on a light theme because it adds it adds some a darkness with an opacity to it so we're going to leave that off you can position the content around here you can say take those tabs that are at the top and put them on the bottom and what's cool about this if i click preview is these are navigation for this so you can slide it left or right using uh, like swipe on a mobile device if you will or you can use these tabs to go through it just like that so this is just kind of like a nicer slider um, you know if you do want a slider i think it's nicer because it doesn't auto scroll and it does it does offer an element that's a little bit unusual with this little piece hanging out it makes you want to see more uh, so you click into it just like that um, so this would be something that's part of the Epic Page Builder widgets app. All right, so that's what three, four different concepts here for how to edit sliders. Um, the built-in homepage carousel, which again is on the homepage only and limited to five slides, and the controls are a little bit rudimentary compared to some of this other stuff. There is the Big Commerce slider widget, which is already built into all stencil themes, already free. And there is the advanced slider uh, widget in my plugin, the page builder widget plugin. 
and we're going to have more sliders coming too. And we also went over kind of the concept of, you know, to put text on your, on your slides or not to put text on your slides. That is the question. Uh, all right. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. I feel like I rambled on a little bit about sliders, about, um, you know, my slight disdain for them. I don't completely hate them. They are kind of cool and kind of fun. They just, you know, they're proven to lose you a little bit of sales and maybe it's worth it. Maybe it's worth it to get the coolness factor. That's okay. That's your decision. I want to show you guys a couple ways to do it. Um, a couple things to know is that the built-in homepage slider is on the homepage only. It is limited to five slides. The widget um, versions of what I showed you guys, both the Big Commerce built-in widget as well as the, the premium widget from my plugin, um, those are available on any page where there is a widget. So if you need a slider on your you know, on your category page or at the bottom of your about page or something, you can, as long as there's a region there, you can use these region oriented methods wherever there's a region. And if there's not a region there, have a developer put a region there. It's not very difficult and it really opens up what you guys can do uh, with your store. So widgets are, I think, a big part of the future of big commerce. So consider that and, and embrace the widgets and try them out. You might find that you really like them. I sure do. And, um, you know, if you guys found this helpful, hit the like button, consider joining our community at joinecommercegrowth.com. If you do need a developer, hit me up at epicdesignlabs.com. And, you know, I've been doing this for 10 years. I just want to help people build million dollar stores, whether you're my client or not. So if you are stuck on something or if you want to know something, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you're stuck on and maybe that'll be my next video. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much and I will see you next time. Thank you.